Hi Capricorn, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world in English language. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Capricorn people that what will happen from 1st of November till 15th of November 2021 with tarot cards. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to pull out a cross spread and we'll see what will happen in the first half of November overall for Capricorn people. And after that in the same video I'm going to pull out some cards for love life of Capricorn people from 1st to 15th of November. So watch the video till the end so you get all the messages. So let's start shuffling Capricorn. Okay. Messages for Capricorn 1st to 15th of November. Messages to Capricorn 1st to 15th of November. Messages to Capricorn 1st to 15th of November. Messages to Capricorn 1st to 15th of November. Messages for Capricorn 1st to 15th of November. Messages for Capricorn 1st to 15th of November. Okay, Capricorn. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, your first card, Capricorn, is 7 of Wands. So, you are uh, very defensive right now, Capricorn. Like, there are some challenges in the way, some things coming towards you and you are defending yourself from that. So, overall, uh, in your life right now is, is that you are defensive uh, and you are playing in a defensive mode right now. You're not very upfront and uh, taking the charge and all that. You're defensive, uh, careful, because you feel that there are challenges which you have to face and which you have to deal with very carefully. So you, and you have to defend yourself. So that's why you are on a defensive mode right now. What's on your mind is two of wands. Uh, you are on a crossroad of making some kind of decision in your head. You have two paths, two ways or two options or two choices and you have to choose one. So you're thinking, you're contemplating, you're planning. So you are on a planning stage and uh, uh, maybe for some of you there is a collaboration of something of some kind, partnership of some kind but on your mind, uh, your mind is planning right now about something in your life you're planning. Uh, so you are not uh, taking any action right now. Uh, you are gathering ideas and planning about something. Underneath is Empress. So uh, you're loving yourself right now. You, like you are uh, uh, more focused on your own well-being, your own growth, your own abundance, your own uh, uh, benefits. So it's like you, uh, you are not much of a giver right now. Uh, you want to receive and you really want to gather up your energy and uh, make yourself more useful for your future. Uh, so you are uh, loving yourself, uh, taking care of yourself, maybe your beauty, your looks and otherwise your well-being overall also. In the past position we have Queen of Pentacles. So, uh, you have been very settled, uh, stable and uh, practical, caring, nurturing uh, and uh, calm, I guess. And uh, you have been uh, being, you have been trying to be good overall, uh, organized 
and uh, structuring things in your life, practical things and all that. Uh, but now uh, you're planning ahead uh, for the future. Uh, what's coming towards you is King of Cups. So I guess uh, in the first half of November, you're going to get more wisdom and uh, you, you will be again, I think you're not going to take much action. Uh, but I think you're going to, uh, I don't know, uh, you're going to master to control your emotions and uh, uh, not being impulsive. Uh, and it's like uh, being very mature, especially about your emotions. Uh, there is also, there can be a person coming towards you uh, which which may show interest in you romantically for some of you not for everybody let's clarify this why is king of cups here why is king of cups here why is king of cups here Three of Swords. Uh, so maybe uh, it's like uh, for a very few of you, it can be about a third party situation in a love scene. Or uh, for the others, if it's not a love situation, then it's like uh, something uh, maybe already happened. Uh, in which a third person was involved and it it kind of uh, got you hurt somehow. Uh, so it's that kind of energy uh, uh, rising up again. I'm sorry, I'm not totally understanding this. So I'll pull out one more card. Why Three of Sword and King of Cups here? Clarifying future position. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Uh, so so I guess there is going to be some uh, burdens for you. Uh, something uh, reoccurring, like maybe uh, you were hurt before and this you're still carrying that energy with you and maybe uh, it can pinch you a little bit more. It's a minor energy, it's a minor arcana. Uh, and I think it's it has to do with some person. So it can, it's not necessary that in, it's in love. It can be in anything, any other area also. But it's like uh, uh, some disturbance, a minor disturbance. It's, it's, it's nothing big. So now let's pull some cards out for your love life. Love messages for Capricorn, 1st to 15th of November. Love messages for Capricorn. 1st to 15th of November. Love messages for Capricorn. 1st to 15th of November. Six of Cups. So maybe you will be uh, missing somebody from the past or somebody from the past like tried to contact you again or uh, uh, tried something with you again. So, so I think you're uh, still carrying some past energy with you. Uh, some past energy is there. And, and we have five of cups also here. Uh, so, so it's like uh, maybe uh, it's, it's an emotional disappointment for some of you, uh, like uh, maybe it has to do with some, somebody from past, some ex or something like that, uh, uh, or it, you'll feel that, okay, this is not going well, whatever is going on in your love life. Uh, but again, it's a minor arcana, so it's, it, it's nothing big. It's an emotional disappointment, a temporary emotional disappointment, but it's not going to give you much effect because we have Queen of Wands here. Uh, so because of this emotional disappointment, maybe you'll uh, make yourself strong and you'll be 
feeling that okay i have to do my own thing and you'll start doing your own thing and you'll be very powerful and you will not care much about these emotions and uh, you'll be fine overall and uh, i guess you're going to be uh, doing your own thing and you'll be very attractive and people will be attracted to you overall uh, so overall there are some glitches some small glitches in the first half of november for you capricorn but i don't think that uh, any of the glitches that big that you cannot handle so i think you're going to be fine please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel if you like what i do and thank you so much for watching the video stay blessed always